Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are or I am sharing with you our experience this past weekend on a balloon garland that we built uh, for an outside event. This balloon garland was 20 feet long. It was a great experience and why am I saying we? Because me and my husband, we did this together. I asked him for help and he agreed that he had a choice. I am so grateful that he was with me. He helped me out so much and I, I don't think I would have done this without him. So you guys, as I said, it was a very good experience. I answered so many questions that I had about outdoor or any other balloons in general. Now I do have a lot more questions about balloons and all of that stuff. As you know, I'm not a professional balloon garland maker. Uh, I learn as I go. Believe it or not, I do learn a lot from all of your comments that I read and go through every single day. So thank you so much for everyone who's commenting. I did start very late in the day, the day before. So the night before I prepped all of my balloon garlands and that's why you're going to see this yellow lighting and the darker lighting and then it will get better as soon as we get into Sunday. So hopefully you will enjoy this. Also you guys, I'm going to do a voiceover. Hopefully I'm going to explain as the video goes and I hope I will answer a few questions uh, about outdoor balloon garlands. So if you want to see what is happening, how we did this and how this whole thing turned out, then stay tuned and let's go. We are starting very late in the day. Today is Saturday and it's around 10 p.m. Uh, I would have done uh, the prep for balloon garland a little bit earlier, but I couldn't. As you can see, I'm wearing my Penn Legacy shirt because we were coaching today. We had a soccer tournament with our uh, boys, with our spring team that we're coaching. Uh, we got a second place. They did amazing. Uh, we were so proud of them. Good job to our boys. So I came home. I bought the kids. I had to take them uh, to my mom's house. She agreed to offer actually to um, watch them while we, me and my husband, are going to set up a balloon garland at the event that we're preparing for tomorrow. So kids are taken care of. I'm in my filming room and I am ready to start on this balloon garland. I need to make 20 feet balloon garland. So I am using, they want all white with a little bit hint of gold. So it's gonna be an outside balloon garland. I am a little bit nervous about that, which is not gonna be that bad. In the mornings, usually uh, our temperatures is pretty cool. We'll see, uh, it's not gonna be as hot. Uh, I am really curious to see how our balloon garland is going to respond to the outside. So let's let me show you first what we have from our supplies, and we'll move on to actually uh, prepping and building our balloon garland. I did rent backdrop frame. So this is one piece from the uh, that frame. I pulled it out from my car. Uh, this is going to be as a template for my balloon garland um, so I would know how big I would need to make it. This is just one side. I need to make three uh, sides like these of balloons. Then I'm using all white balloons, different sizes. These are 12, 5, uh, 18, and 36 inch balloons. I bought new uh, new fishing line. The, this is a 20 pound fishing line and a whole bunch of glue dots just because I'm not going to have an opportunity to use my uh, glue gun. I am using glue dots. I'm going to, the reason is why I bought so many to use more than two or three glue dots per balloon to fill in spaces to make sure they're like stuck to each other and they're not going to get blown away 
Ah, uh, by the wind. And you guys, our gold accent is going to be clear balloons with gold confettis. Let's go. Okay, I am ready. And we have a really, really strong storm right now. That was thunder. So I am ready to blow all of my balloons. I am blowing 12, 18, and 36 of balloons. I am pairing them, so blowing them at the same time and tying two balloons together to make a pair. Uh, also, I'm leaving uh, my confetti balloons and my five inch balloons aside. I'm not sure if I'm going to blow them up right now. We'll see. My main priority right now is to construct my balloon garland. <laughs> the sizes and that's going to be the start for your balloon garland. Alrighty guys, um, I think I've blown enough of balloons. If not, I can always add more. I have my 20 pound fishing line now. And I'm ready to start building my first part of my garland. I'm starting with the uh, biggest cluster that I have here, 18 and 36 inch balloons. I'm tying my fishing line to this cluster. Okay, perfect. Taking my second cluster, putting right on top, taking my fishing line, wrapping that around and pushing my balloons towards my first cluster. Again, around a different balloon and push it. Okay. And now I want to take this fishing line and wrap it around my bigger balloon and push it again. And one more time about around my second cluster and push. To not tangle yourself, try to step on your fishing line with your foot. It's going to give you more control and uh, you're going to release your foot or put your foot up if you need more fishing lines. So that's kind of help you, it's going to help you with control. So maybe it's going to work. Try it out. guys today's Sunday and it's day for me to go and assemble my balloon garland as you can see I have three parts so this is going to be my top I know how top should look and it looks different from my side pieces and these pieces uh, are my sides so we are ready to load now we are using one van and one uh, CRV vehicles we'll see if that's going to fit our balloon garlands if not we have to make it 
happened so wish me luck and i have my uh, bag over here filled with extra uh, balloons if i need balloons uh, plus with five inch balloons and confetti balloons that i need to fill in spaces on my balloon garland also i have my hand pumps because uh, i don't know probably there will be no outlets so i'm using my hand pumps and uh, using glue dots whole bunch of glue dots lots of them okay let me put my shoes on and let's fit in this balloon garland we started by fitting our balloon garlands into our vehicles two balloon garlands will fit into one standard van easily as long as you don't have too many 36 inch balloons in your garland The back of our van was closed very, very slowly and gently to make sure we would not pop any balloons. In the car right now, driving to the place, it's going to be somewhere in the woods. So I'm following my husband right now. I am fully loaded. As you can see, I have one piece of my garland in my car to other pieces in my husband's van and I have my frame over here and extra balloons in that white bag my little tiny stairs my camera to set up over there and of course my purse and who knows maybe electric uh, balloon pump we'll see maybe we'll find an outlet because I would love to have one all right I will see you there First things first, we needed to construct our frame for our balloon garland. This frame was rented from our local rental place for $10. As I said before, my size looked different from my top, so I knew which piece goes where. I tied my balloon garland sections with fishing line in different spots. At this point, my husband went home. We didn't live too far to grab my low temperature glue gun because we found an outlet. I didn't measure my top section correctly, so I had to add a few more balloons. I was so thankful that I had this chance to use my electric balloon pump and for that found outlet. To hang top section on my own was pretty difficult, so luckily Oleg came back just in time to help me out. To secure top portion of my balloon garland took me lots of fishing line in different spots. I blew up more balloons to cover the top right corner. I simply tied them down to my frame with extra fishing line. 
one of the 36 inch balloons at the bottom deflated so i had to replace it with a new one i cut a deflated balloon down and tied a new balloon with extra fishing line here you can see us starting on confetti balloons but our camera shut down and bam you see a balloon garland already filled in with gold confetti balloons at this point right now we started on blowing our five inch balloons and using my low temperature glue gun i am filling in spaces with my balloons i am so grateful that we found the outlet Oleg would constantly ask me how many more balloons he would have to tie and we ended up using 72 5 inch balloons for this size garland. Quick tip for you guys, always have extra balloons set aside. You will never know what's going to happen to your balloons. If something pops or deflates, you can always grab an extra balloon and fix your balloon garland. Final stretch, you guys. I wasn't happy with the bottom right spot on my balloon garland, so I decided to add a few more 18 inch of balloons to fill in gaps at the bottom to tie our balloons i gave oleg that balloon tying tool that i usually use and he was very impressed by it guys so here is my first outside balloon garland we had uh definitely had some struggles not going to lie this is my first balloon garland for outside as i told you and yeah i i like it i like this portion over here a lot these big balloons gave me such a pain today you guys i don't know what was happening maybe probably they were rubbing against um, uh, the concrete and it was they were popping but they were popping constantly i didn't know what to do i was kind of started to panic but yeah it turned out really really cute and i like it now we're gonna pack everything and uh, leave because we're hungry and it is 9 30 a.m right now we woke up at six had to load everything and all of that stuff so yeah i luckily we had a, an outlet right over there so we had some extension cords and i did use my low heat glue gun to glue all of the balloons to my garland so that was nice that was a relief one of these balloons popped so my husband had to pick up all of the confettis hi guys all of the confettis and it wasn't pretty looking all right all right i'm gonna check back with you a little bit later you guys to attach this huge balloon garland i used lots and lots of fishing line in different spots so i tied uh, my fishing line to as many places as I can, as you can see, uh, fishing line over here. I tied it over there, like literally not too far apart from each other. So as this part over here, there's, there's a uh, fishing line over here. Then I tied to this railing as well. So it's tied up in so many different spots. So if you're doing that big of a balloon garland, it's high in many 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 places 
So we are back to the place where we um, made our balloon garland and we picked up our pipes. Uh, the event is over, the first part, and they took the garland off of pipes for us to pick up the, pick them up. And they just hung them in the pavilion right now, so they're kind of hanging there and being pretty. There they are in the pavilion. Very pretty. It's looking like clouds. Love it. Look at this. What I noticed, you guys, outside, balloons getting softer. Who knows balloons let me know why like what is happening and it's very um interesting because they were trying to hang uh, them up of right now at the pavilion and so many balloons popped and they didn't pop like loud normal balloon it was like poof. very interesting so that that was that wasn't that was a really really good experience for me now i know what is happening what i would do different how i would do it definitely i am so happy that i prepped ahead of time way ahead of time the night before because uh three hours wouldn't be enough definitely for this size uh, garland wouldn't be enough you guys if i don't get enough sleep and I'm nervous and plus outside and just running around my eyes are incredibly watery so that's why I'm having this paper towel and kind of trying to dry them anyways I asked a few girls uh, I know um, this group of people who's having the event and uh, they said nothing popped um, while um, things were going on at the pool and as soon as they were brought um, to the pavilion and they started like touching them and trying to hang them they would start popping so i am happy that nothing popped while the pool action was going on so that's that's good i want to do more garlands for outside i also want to really like test one balloon garland just blow it up uh hanging outside outside of my home I don't know in the backyard back porch somewhere and just really really test uh, glue dots I had some comments asking me if the heat will melt um, the glue down no it's still there everything is holding uh, I'm curious as I said I'm curious to see how glue dots will perform uh, we'll see that later when I'll test um, another balloon garland uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this uh, little adventure of mine. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in a comment section down below. Also, uh, all the count of all the balloons I will leave in the description under this video. So go ahead and check it out. Every single supply that I use and all the balloons I will uh, link for you guys as well. Alright you guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and I will see you back very soon. Bye!